ever pondered the differences between traditional cigarettes and Juul? Both have been common fixtures in society for years, their alluring tendrils of smoke and vapor marketed as tools of enjoyment and stress relief. From the mid-20th century's love affair with cigarettes to the modern era's fascination with sleek, tech-savvy Juul, the way we consume nicotine has evolved significantly. In this video, we're diving into the world of cigarettes and Juul, comparing and contrasting to help you understand them better. Firstly, we need to understand what cigarettes and Juul are. Let's start with the traditional cigarette. It's a tightly rolled paper tube filled with finely cut tobacco leaves. When lit, the smoke produced is inhaled into the lungs, delivering nicotine to the bloodstream. Switching gears to Juul, a new age electronic device that has revolutionized smoking. Juul, often referred to as a type of e-cigarette, vaporizes a liquid containing nicotine. The user inhales the vapor, much like a traditional cigarette, but without the combustion of tobacco leaves. Both cigarettes and Juul deliver nicotine, the addictive component that keeps users coming back. However, it's important to note that a Juul pod contains as much nicotine as a pack of 20 cigarettes. The main difference lies in the method of delivery. One burns tobacco leaves, the other heats a nicotine-infused liquid. Now that we understand what they are, we can delve deeper into their differences and similarities. Health impacts are a major concern when it comes to any form of smoking. Let's dig into the health effects of both cigarettes and Juul. Starting with cigarettes, these tiny sticks are notorious health hazards. Packed with over 7,000 chemicals, many of which are toxic, cigarettes are linked to a host of diseases. Lung cancer, heart disease, stroke, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease are just a few. Not to mention, they're also a leading cause of premature death. Transitioning to Juul, it's a different picture, but not necessarily a better one. Juul devices heat up a liquid that contains nicotine, the highly addictive substance found in tobacco. While they don't produce the tar that cigarettes do, they can deliver even higher levels of nicotine, leading to addiction and potential harm to brain development, particularly in adolescents. Furthermore, the chemicals used in the flavorings of Juul pods can also cause lung damage. Now, comparing the two, cigarettes and Juul have some similarities. Both deliver nicotine, both can lead to addiction, and both have harmful effects on the lungs and heart. However, the differences lie in the delivery mechanism and the magnitude of harm. While cigarettes expose users to a greater number of harmful substances, Juul's high nicotine content and potential for adolescent use present unique concerns. So, both cigarettes and Juul have significant health effects, albeit in different ways. Beyond health, the social implications of smoking are also important. Let's delve into the societal aspects of smoking, both traditional cigarettes and Juul. For years, cigarettes were deemed a symbol of sophistication, a rite of passage, even a rebellious act. However, as the health risks became more pronounced, society's perception took a sharp turn. Today, cigarette smoking is often associated with health problems, addiction, and even social stigma. On the other hand, Juul, a form of electronic cigarette, emerged as a safer alternative, appealing particularly to the younger generation. Its sleek, tech-oriented design and flavored options have created a different image compared to traditional cigarettes. Yet, it's important to remember that while Juul may be perceived as cooler or less harmful, it still contains nicotine, a highly addictive substance. So, we see a dichotomy in societal responses, with cigarettes facing widespread disapproval, while Juul enjoys a certain level of acceptance. It's clear that society views these two quite differently, but why? In conclusion, while cigarettes and Juul share some similarities, they have distinct differences. We've explored the nature of both products, understanding that cigarettes are traditional tobacco products, while Juul is a modern e-cigarette. We've examined their health impacts, noting that both pose risks, yet the long-term effects of Juul are still not fully understood. In terms of social implications, we've seen that perceptions are changing. Cigarettes, once seen as glamorous, are now largely stigmatized, while Juul, with its discreet design and flavored pods, has a certain appeal among younger demographics. Nevertheless, the consequences of both on public health and societal norms cannot be underestimated. The similarities are there, yes, but so are the differences. Each carries its own set of health risks and societal implications. Each has its own story, its own history, and its own future to write. Ultimately, the choice between cigarettes and Juul is a personal one, but understanding the differences can help make that decision an informed one. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, like, leave your comments. I wish you all love, happiness, kindness and a peaceful sky.